हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रिव्यू इज अबाउट द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग द एन आई मैसूर एंड इट इज़ वन ऑफ द टॉप नॉच इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस इन कर्नाटका राइट सो इट स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स इट्स वन ऑफ द ऑटोनॉमस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस इन मैसूर बाय अक्रेडिट बाय नैक इट्स वन नाइनटी सिक्स बेस्ट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन इंडिया बाय एन आर एफ रैंकिंग इट्स अप्रूव बाय ए सी टी एंड एफिलियटेड टू वी टी यू बेलागावी and it offers 7 ug course and 12 pg programs and the pg programs are what i am going to cover in this video it's tier 1 nba accredited programs and talking about the campus so they have two campus the main campus is the south campus which is on the manthavar road mysore and the other campus is called the north campus which was the earlier ni institute technology so north campus is located in hodgalli in mysore and i mysore has a very strong alumni group and uh, narayan murthy has also studied in this particular college part of 1967 batch so the courses a ug courses are like on engineering post graduate courses which i'm covering here is like mtech side power system hydraulics computer applications you know industrial drives production engineering information technology industrial automation structural engineering machine design you know so good number of mtech options are available for students and apart from that mca is also available in this college so i am going to review only these two courses mtech and mca it has a very nice beautiful uh, big campus and which i am not going to cover but these are some of the glimpses of the overall student life and uh, which is captured here they have hostel facilities for both girls so this is girls hostel and boys as well so this is one of the picture of their boys hostel right so they do have a gym facilities for both girls and boys and they also have a good sports playgrounds right so you can see most of the sports amenities are there this is one of the picture of their graduation day ceremony they have excellent placements which i will cover later in this particular video so, before that coming to the courses so they have mca master of computer application and uh, for which the minimum criteria is 3 years or equivalent degree in mathematics statistics and the uh, related branches with 50% marks in aggregate of all subjects for mtech also similar qualification is there and the valid gate card is also accepted so 50% marks in the aggregate of all subjects in your graduation examinations Now talking about the seat matrix, so you can see it is consisting of all the M Tech branches and M C A. So M C A is in the North Campus, but M Tech branches are in the South Campus. So intake you can see, and uh, you know management quota is also available. So total intake is equal to K E A process, which is P G C E T plus management quota. So 162 seats are through P G C E T, and 84 seats are through management quota. Out of which 60 seats are for M C A. You can see here. now talking about now the talking about the pcc so last cut off for so this all branches you can see here so mc program so with the mc also highest score uh, rank for 488 and, the rank, and, right? and it's this is the fees for the unaided check on your own the complete karnataka resident list like total demand is 86900 and if you see the break up 66000 you have to pay to ka and once you go to college the rest of the 20590 fees is there so total for karnataka 86900 for non karnataka student it will be like 88400 so around 2000 rupees difference for scst category also fees remain same but uh, at ka they have to pay zero fees and they have to pay 31900 uh, in the college right and for similarly for the other categories also you can check here So now moving uh, for the PGCET MTech course the code is T eight eight one unaided course and you can see Karnataka residents total fees will be ninety seven thousand nine hundred which includes K E A fees when you pay at the counselling seventy seven thousand three hundred and ten and then another twenty thousand five hundred ninety you will pay once you are in the college so ninety seven thousand nine hundred for Karnataka for non Karnataka two thousand extra and similarly for the last S C S T categories you can see the fees. And for the sponsored category, fees was one lakh nine one lakh nine hundred, right? So you can see in the last row. Now talking about the PGCET quota fees for the aided course. So aided course also has the M Tech. 
so here the fees will be less so you can see for the karnataka students fees is just 57900 in the added course include 31300 kea fees plus 26590 which will be the college fees similarly the for the sponsored students the uh, you know total fees will be 60900 in the added course and all the other fees for scst category 1 you can see in the below table right now moving further i'll talk about the placements part of it which is uh, the excellent highlight and this college has got the highest salary of 43.5 lakhs and the average salary of 8 lakhs so this is overall college level which is excellent placement and uh, as good as 420 companies have visited and total number of offers received are 1050 and the total number of students placed are 760 so good number of opportunities are provided for internship and the placements so you can see a very uh, good and top notch reputed companies are there like on the campus like accenture infosys abb cisco then you see multinational like ibm bosch google all of them are their national instruments which is a good recruiter mercedes benz is there every year and microsoft intel siemens shell oracle so all of those are top companies which are visiting here and many of them are taking in the mass recruitment like in the camp at least 20 to 30 students each right and uh, so it's a good mix of indian as well as uh, multinational companies now talking about the total uh, you know placements for this so it has got uh, information about the mtech plus mca placement together because it does not provide uh, individual placement details which is part of the nir of document right so if you can see the last three year performance uh, you know in the 20 passing batch 214 students were passing and out of which 168 got place so close to 75% placement at least is achieved and 4.5 was the median salary similarly in the next year out of 178 students 143 of them got placed salary is also median salary is also good 6.7 lakhs and the next year 22 passing batch which is the latest information which is available you can see out of the 179 students uh, who are eligible or part participating in placements 164 of them got placed so very good placement record of both the mtech and mca course and you can see the median salary is also good which is 6.7 so overall it has got the very good high packages as well as the excellent companies which visit there and these are the contact details in case you are interested thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all colleges in karnataka take care and bye